Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Orlando Valido. Holy Valido. For people that they call me on YouTube. I'm sorry that I have been away from doing this podcast myself because I was sick with the flu. Yeah, with the flu or cold, whatever you call it, you know. And uh, it got me a week. So I had to stay away and I had to do the podcast with my computer voiceover. Yeah, my computer voiceover, which is that I can uh, translate any script, any word into a voice and my computer will convert it into a complete voice of male or female. Even kids I like. Oh yeah, it will do it. Wonderful, wonderful program. But I like to use my voice. And I don't know if you guys like to hear my voice too. Because uh, when I do this, my voice will get better and better. And that's why it's a little bit exercise for me. And that is also why I do this because I know it will do wonders for me. Okay, tonight I'm going to talk about two other uh, country music artists, and they are, let me show it to you, Archie slash Park. Archie slash Park. And I'm going to read for you their autobiography for you and I hope you understand me completely, okay? So let's do that now. Let me go over here to my other screen. Okay, Archie and Park was an American country music duo composed of singers, songwriters, and uh, Randy Arce and Johnny Park was the real name, okay? Randy Arce and Johnny Park dying into a landed record in 1994. The duo released his solo album. We got a lot in common. But yeah, that's for the first album, guys. We got a lot in common. That year, the two of the album single entry, the Billboard Hot Country Singles and Track Search, where the smoke at number 29 and the title track at number 63. Okay, let's now read the actual biography. Archie Slash Park consisted of of songwriter, vocalist Randy Arce, born on February 20, 1959. Wow, my age, guys, just to put this up right now, I guess. And Swin Bobo, Georgia, H W A I N S B R O R, Georgia, and Johnny Park was born on October 30, 1957, in Arlington, Texas. The two had a success writing song for the contribution artists and began working together in the same publishing and company. As a result, they decided to form a duo and signed with Atlantic Record, Nashville, Tennessee, the branch in 1994. They recorded the debut album, We Got Loud and Common, that same year. And the album, the two singles, were The Smoke and We Got Loud and Common. They both started the Billboard High Country song that year. And the album received a mixed review from John P. 
my clanging. Uh, I have to spell this for you. M C L A U G H L I N McClane and a brother and a brother Providence who saw the album was a generic and deceptive uh, book of June and a book in June, yeah, okay. Well they actually more like not the same but more like over says as an uncredited uh, review driving report described the title track favorably, saying that the two show a sense of humor on it. I, I wonder if they were funny too. I've never seen them but I guess I'm gonna look for it later on. Maybe I'll look over here on YouTube. After the only album I shall assume working as a songwriter with Tim McGraw and John Michael Montgomery and began a man with the act who recorded his song. He and Park also wrote songs for Montgomery and Elvis, yeah, Elvis was in 2006, Asia independently released an album titled Shot in the Dark. Shot in the Dark. Okay. In 2009, and his son, Flynn, formed a duo, The Park, which he signed to a lyric street record, Sibinari, for the Color Wood Records uh, over there, I guess, and maybe in Tennessee or something like that. Okay, uh, here we go. We got a lot in common. Track the half of the track listed here for you guys. Track number one got a lot in common with it by. Randy Ache, Johnny Park, and Bobby Baker. Track number two, Where They Smoke, they were written by Baker and Mark Collai. And two minutes and 54 seconds. Track number three, You Don't Know Where the Heart Been. Again, you don't know what this heart have been and uh, written by Archie and Park Baker. Three minutes and um, 59 seconds. I am not crazy. That track number four, uh, written by Archie and Park and Baker at the same time, too. Two minutes and um, 55 seconds. Five. You all rock Archie and Park Baker. Doing uh, Nichols, Doug Nichols, three minutes and 33 seconds. Number six, the man that I am, what others, Debbie Wesley. Uh, this uh, first one, the guy's last name, it was uh, Walt A. L. D I I D E E and Derry Wesley. And they wrote that song, and uh, he only came out to two minutes and fifty six seconds. Seven, you don't look now. I say, Park Nichols, two minutes for the second. Nine, permanent thing. Jerry Abbott, Sally Stewart, uh, three minutes and 19 seconds. Number 10, still want to jump, you're born. <laughs> Funny, still want to jump, you're born. Imagine that, guys. 
We read in the Asia and Park Baker, three minutes and four seconds. Okay, personal. Uh, this is an old band of uh, people that, that was with them. Eddie Bailey, drum. Mark Cassie Steven, acoustic, acoustic guitar. Paul Plunkin, Peter, Theo Guitar, Slide Guitar, Pernod Bobo, uh, Steve Gibson, yeah, Steve Gibson, Electric Guitar, Tim Felipe, Gonzalez, Harmonica, Rob Hago, Peter, Ona Hell, Drum, Brian Manson, Electric Guitar, Dave Pomeroy, Pom Roy, Bass Guitar, Dom Fuller, Acoustic Guitar, Ron Snake, Reno, Percussion, Randy Shag, S E R U G G S, Drum, Bobby Wood, piano, Bobby Way, bass guitar, bass, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now let go here with single that they did, all right? And the years 1994, where the smoke. And the rank has a uh, pick at number 29 and 50 in the U.S. and Canada. 1994 again, we got a lot in common. Number 63, 68 in both countries, Canada and the United States. Music video. Nineteen ninety four with the smoke. Nineteen ninety four we got a lot in common and that's all they did but the the year, okay. So we're done here with uh Ash and Park or Asia and Park Flash is what they say here. Uh Background information, origin, Nashville, Tennessee, January, country. Year active, 1994, labor, Atlantic, <laughs> Cuban, excuse <me> for a second. <laughs> I still had to cough a little bit, but that much. Uh, yeah. Labor record, Atlanta uh, record. Spin up the park. Past member, Randy Ache, Johnny Park. And they are the two duo who uh, did the record. And they were pretty famous, I guess. I don't know, but uh, I guess they did. Uh, anyway. I would like to thank you for listening to me. As you can see, I am a lot, a lot better, but I still had to cough, cough and on. Sorry about that. Uh, but I try my best to do this for you guys, and I try the best uh, to be on camera and to use my own voice because I know what it will do for me. It will do better, I will talk better, and maybe you understand me better too. That's why I do it. And also, I love uh, reading autobiography, not only of country music, but Spanish, Spanish singer, like uh, pop, Latin, like 
reggaeton, like uh, others, and even uh, rock and roll, which is uh, I like it too. But in my background, I like more country than anything else. Why? Because it's down to your heart. It's more spiritual. It's more come down than any other type of genre. I would say. I would say. Um, and I guess uh, my best contribution artist for all time was John Denver, Johnny Cash, uh, Willie Jenny, and other people. For me, they were my favorite singer, contribution singer, I guess. They all pass on, but they still live. And my shows, especially John Denver, because uh, John Denver got me to a lot of things. Back in middle school, high school, and he got me to my peer. I can tell you that much. But yeah, when all the kids were listening to rock and roll, they were listening to disco, all that, not me. I was listening to country, country music. Oh yeah, that's the difference between me and them. I just get uh, the hell it that way. I, I don't mean that they, they have all the right to listen to rock and roll, listen to disco, I like it too. But for me, country music was the best of the best because it, uh, it keep me calm down. It keep me mellow, yeah, very mellow. And also, you will last me so much that I can go sleep with it. Oh yeah, I can tell you that much, you know. Other than that, guys, I would like to ask you a couple of things uh, for me as well as for you. Pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Pray for your neighbor. They believe it or not that your next door family. Why they are the next door family? Because they are in, in the next door. Your other family might, might be far away to are able to help you, to help you in uh, any emergency, I would say. Pray for your country. Pray there is no more pandemic, no more wars, no more corruption. We don't need that. We need to live in peace and happiness like we should be, like um, sisters and brothers of the universe that we are. And we all are. And I do believe in that. Uh, let me say a couple of things more before I go off. I have been, as a handicapped person, I am. Um, I got a lot of experience with God. Yeah, God. A lot. I would like you to listen a little bit to my my lifetime story that I have here on YouTube too. And you will see why I am so close to him and him close to me. Even one time he told me, you are my golden star. I go, wow. And I heard it with my own ear. That's interesting or not. It is. But uh, I am a handicapped person that 
don't give up easy. I always been a fighter. I always been what I am, you know. And I love acting too. Believe me or not, I do love acting, be in the movies and stuff like that. But unfortunately, being handicapped, uh, I haven't been able to do anything seriously as a major lad. I do anything like that. But I have done my thing, like uh, a play, a low budget movie that was uh, on it, and I played the pimp, the pimp character. They came out really, really, really funny. And you can see here on my YouTube channel, I got a couple of clips that I saved. Uh, it was my it was a miracle that I saved this uh, clip so you can see it. Uh, today I came from uh, the doctor, from a dentist, and they are doing something in my mouth. I need two crowns, two little crowns, so they're getting me ready to put two little crowns. Because the one that I have now is too old. That's a, I got it a long time ago. So it's time to change it. It hurts a little bit. You know, when they put that needle in there with anesthesia, and you go, Aah. Yeah, that's what happened to me. Also, when they lay me, lay me down backward to work on me, that is not a good idea either because uh, to work with me it's a little hard because uh, I can stroke on my own, on my own saliva or on water I can get struck. I mean, if you know what I mean. Uh, I can drown. Uh, that's the right word, I think. I can drown with my own Saliva and water. So they had to put two tubes to drain the water out at the same time that they were working on me because I can drown on, on the water. <laughs> yeah. But that's only me. That's only happened to me, I guess. I tried to control it, you know. I tried to control that, but easy, easy for me to control that. Uh, I guess I had to deal with it <laughs> and deal with it and try mentally to control it. At some point today I did, I had started to think of something else. You know what I mean? That helped a little bit, I guess. You know? So you guys, I would like to thank you for listening to me, for watching me, and i see you next time on Holy Podcast. God bless you, all of you. Bye-bye now.